estrutura em vidro que se estende por mais de 6.300 metros quadrados, o Crystal, em Londres, é considerado um marco da arquitetura e um dos edifícios mais verdes do mundo. Construída em forma de cristal, com vários ângulos e paredes inclinadas que garantem iluminação natural e sombra no interior, o Crystal localiza-se na zona este de Londres, nas Royal Victoria Docks. A Siemens investiu 35 milhões de euros na sua criação e foi desenhado pela Wilkinson Iron Architects. Designed to be uh, one of the most sustainable buildings in the world, so it's uh, designed to be very energy efficient. So we use 40% less energy in the building than a normal building, and we're 90% self-sufficient in our water use too. So integral to that also is how we design the building. So the building has a number of features. For example, uh, it has many windows, uh, many openings, which mean that most of the lighting in the building is daylit. So about 70% of our lighting needs is from natural daylight rather than from, from energy. And then equally, we have uh, a number of um, energy systems in the building, such as ground source heat pumps, which are integrated into the design of the building, which basically mean that we can utilize the heating in the ground, the natural heating, to heat and cool the building. But the building itself, including the exhibition that we have, is around 35 million euros in total. And the thinking behind it was, um, to kind of reflect on the importance of cities uh, globally. So 50% of us currently live in cities. By 2050, 75% of us will live in cities. So as a company, that presents real opportunity for our business. Um, but, you know, cities face huge, huge challenges. And uh, the building and the idea behind it is to showcase the role technologies can play in, in solving some of those challenges, such as congestion, uh, dealing with changing populations, providing power to buildings, uh, making buildings operate more smartly. O espaço alberga ainda uma exposição sobre o futuro das cidades, que já foi visitada por 250 mil pessoas. A mostra começa com um filme que expõe os desafios que as cidades enfrentam, desde o crescimento demográfico à urbanização crescente e às mudanças climáticas. Depois, divide-se em áreas que respondem a estes desafios, leva o visitante a gerir uma cidade e a verificar o resultado das suas opções. Podem ainda escolher-se o que integrar no edifício para o tornar mais ecológico ou ver como se perspectiva a vida de algumas cidades em 2005. Em setembro, Crystal fez três anos e para assinalar a data, a Siemens organizou uma conferência sobre Smart Cities. Well, the idea behind the, the Smart Cities conference really was to highlight the uh, need for uh, technology in cities, the, the need for cities to really innovate around. Um, how they're going to solve some big problems around urbanization, climate change, demographic change, and also the role of uh, digitalization in uh, transforming uh, our cities and making life better for citizens. So we really wanted to put a, a real spotlight on that. So cities are competing uh, now all over the world like they never have before, competing for talent, they're competing for businesses to come and invest, they're competing uh, for uh, building sectors like financial sectors or manufacturing sectors and protecting uh, the essence of those cities. So uh, more than ever before, cities are really looking around and trying to understand how they can be better, more livable, uh, cleaner in terms of uh, air quality, um, uh, greener in terms of uh, 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 keeping the city moving, keeping the city competitive, but keeping the energy footprint really, really low. And these are huge challenges for every city. So uh, the, the purpose of the conference today was to really highlight these differences and really show what's possible, what technologies could do, and also how cities should be thinking and working with businesses to make the lives of citizens better. Maiores, mais inteligentes e eficientes na forma como utilizam os recursos é como vão ser as cidades do futuro. Futuro esse que o Crystal mostra já a quem o visita.